Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. Um, I hope you guys didn't turn up too much. But today I wanted to uh, come to you guys with a subject uh, that we were talking about last night at our little party, whatchamacallit. New so, yeah. Year's party. Yeah, New yeah. Year's party. So this is my friend Greg. Um, and today, what was our topic? What was it? We didn't, we didn't title it. It just said okay, something like... Okay, so we'll like, title it now. Um... um the more successful the woman is, the less likely she is to find him. That's a long title, but that's what we're talking about. Being successful and finding a man. There you go. See, you need a woman in your life to, like, help you. Hey, I ain't arguing. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, that's what we were talking about. Um, just, like, how dating pretty much, like, we always have dating conversations at our kickbacks whatever the case may be so yeah um you want to start off like your view yeah because I, I wanted to get my shit straight okay get the straight. point that i was making last night and my theory is when women are single they are more productive than a man y'all go you know work out and start things and build things and get with your girls and do stuff <clears throat> i think that's great what I'm saying is because of technology, what it does with communication between men and women, if a woman is successful and that in regards to anything, let's just say she has a nice car, she made good money. And What's good money? See, it's, it, it depends on the person. It <laughs> okay. depends on the person. But let's say, let's just say, I ain't even going to, let's just say 80,000. Okay. 80,000. And she drives... Uh, luxury car, Lexus, Cadillac, or something big like that, right? If a woman have those things, to my point, and they tangible things, if a woman has those tangible things, it runs off more men because men don't feel that they can take care of those women. So, if it's all right, look, it sounds crazy, <laughs> but it's the truth. No. If, so the point. If a woman is an attractive woman, and let's say attractive <laughs> woman, and let's say she she um she's getting out of her car, she got like a Cadillac car, and she got <laughs> uh what's an expensive purse? The girls y'all be like a coach or something? Or coach is played. What about oh Michael Kors? He got purses, right? Yeah, but they kind of play too. Well, anyway, anyway, a, a, one of those big ass purses that look like they cost a lot you of can money. You say a Louis. Louis. Okay, yeah. A guy is automatically is like, like she's driving that 2016 or whatever car. Look at the bag she's carrying. Like just those tangible things knock off a lot of men because they naturally feel they can't take care of you. Because you pretty much got it taken care of already. So women don't know that they lose a lot of men due to that. And that's a fact. That's the truth. Okay. And here's my viewpoint on it. Like, I feel like that's stupid. Like I said last okay. night, like, I feel like you don't know where she got that Louis bag from. Because I have a Louis bag. But my mama gave it to me. I ain't paid $1,200 for no damn bag. But okay. you don't know that. But why not approach me to get, you know, like... No. Yes. If you, if you got the Louis bag on your arm, damn it, you paid for it. I don't know that. <laughs> I We don't know uh, that. No, but so I feel like you're saying a woman has to dumb herself down or lessen herself to get a man. And I don't feel like that's... Okay, right. this is a good this is a good point. I love that point. See, for all y'all who, you know, love and follow Alex, this is good stuff. <laughs> I don't believe... A woman should do that. Like, be who you are and great and all that stuff, right? Be good and strive for it, whatever. I'm not saying dumb yourself down. It's what I'm like saying it. is you have to go about dating differently today than okay. you would. So how how should a single female of that status for, go about dating? For any of y'all single women out there that... Um, is curious. I'm not saying dumb yourself down. You just have to play the game different. Like um, last night when our homegirl Brittany, she was like, and you, I think you said it too. If you out, and if you do this, 
hey, let us know because you can learn. If you out and you give the guy the eye, like or the look, mm -hmm. right? You was like, you know, if I give him that look, he know. He know. Today, I, I know y'all might not want to hear this. You might not want to hear. It. Today, <laughs> I don't want to hear none of this. You have to give them. You have to do more than a look. So the we have to look, approach. A look is not gonna get it. So we have to approach the guy. Now I don't. I don't dig that. Now look, I'm not like what I mean by. Can I take you out on a date? Nah, I'm over your car door. No, nah, you don't got to do Like right. I'm gonna buy you flowers. I'm gonna come pick no, you up. Bro. What I'm saying is having to do a little more. You yes, say you give them the look. But today you have to go up beyond that a little more. And what's you, beyond that? You might have to like, Walk let's say if y'all at a store or something and you see them, you give them a look. You might have to like um, bump into them in a lane or out or something. Hey, I think you hey, too. Hey, <laughs> no, no, but no, what I'm saying, like, Adam, like, at a, what? let's say at a, at a, like y'all was talking about the grocery store yesterday. Okay. Now, if you Am had, I supposed to touch the same orange? No, no. What I'm saying is if you had a grocery store and y'all see each other, like y'all, you know, walking down aisles, mm -hmm. you probably would have to put yourself on his aisle more than once. Or so maybe. you gotta go down the condom aisle. <laughs> or something. You know, it's gonna take more than the look. I'm sorry, y'all, but it's just the truth. It's a lot of men won't admit to a lot of men ain't gonna say yeah man like i'm afraid to talk to women you know i'm scared you know i'm a little shy i don't make a lot of money like so the men i'm not even worried about that but the women no we need to be worried about that they it's a difficult thing the man is not gonna um do much about it because um don't call me <laughs> because it's like men aren't raised as well when it comes to approaching women a lot of boys they're not like you know i see that girl and i'm attracted to her she's a pretty girl i'm gonna go talk to her like man ain't boys are not growing up taught that like you see a young lady you go approach her you go talk to her that's one but then let that girl make a whole lot of money. You don't know what she making though. It, it don't like I, I don't. But she drive a fucking Cadillac car. She got that expensive ass purse on. She got those heels on that look like they're expensive. You lose automatically because you have those things. And like I was telling last night when we was at the New Year's thing, women. This is another tip for y'all to know to help for y'all who may be you know in this situation. Like, if I don't dumb yourself down, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying we were saying the girl, if you work at what we say, like the bank or something, what would we say? No, oh, for example, a bank. Yeah. If you a teller at a bank and you drive, uh, um, a Honda Civic. Now I'm thinking like not like I like Hondas, Hondas dope, but I'm talking like 2004 or something, right? Yeah, I'm talking about you gotta dumb it down. You driving a Pinto? Whatever. <laughs> when guys see that receptionist or that teller, they feel like society wise that she's a teller. She married, make fourteen, fifteen dollars an hour. She drive. I seen her in a Honda. Like a guy feels that he can approach that girl. And take her out and provide for her and do whatever. You, but if I if if you say, hey, I'm having a kickback or something in my crib, some guys come over, then they'd be like, dang, Alex, Alex, she stay here in this fat ass apartment and she live here. Damn, she must she must make a lot of money. Like man, and that's gonna intimidate guys. If you agree with me, which I know you do, because this shit is real. Now the girls, you probably don't know, like Alex, she ain't gonna agree with me because she like that. That ain't right. That ain't true. <laughs> but it's true. It is, and it's real stuff. And guys, the reason I know this is because guys has told me, males, that was like, man, I ain't want to talk to her because she was like, look, she got this already. She got that already. And but, I'm like, okay, so a woman may not need you financially. But in my case, like, I might not need you financially. But if you want to drop a coin, you can. Okay. But what I need you to do is, like I said last night, take my car to get an oil change. Like, 
go put gas in a car. Come home and my car is washed. Shit, I need you for shit like that. The day I'm trash need to go out. Mm -hmm. That's what I need you for. So I still, you're providing for me. It may not be financially, but you're still providing for me. So therefore, you shouldn't feel less of a man because you may not be able to provide financially. But if you can provide those things, then you're still straight. I agree. But because most men out there, they have this thing called... Fellas. We don't, we don't, look, take the trash out, get our car fixed, stuff like that. Like, it ain't got to be on some financial stuff. Fellas, anybody out there, please, man, please answer this for me. Please answer this for me. I know they're going to agree with you because you a man yeah, and they a man, yeah. but. Would you date a woman? Or are, are you likely to go after a woman? Either or that makes double what you make, like. How would you know that though? Because they go off the tangibles. They go off what you have. If you have this big ass house or you this big ass whatever, they don't need to know exactly how much money you make. They just know you make money. So I could be friends and, and lady suit, because I know a lot of y'all girls should agree with me too, even though Alex don't. What? I want y'all to let me know if y'all agree, yes, like having these tangible things, I think shy guys away from me. I'm not saying it doesn't shy guys away because I've been on dates and I've like talked to guys and they're just like, oh, well, you driving this, that, and the other. I can't compete. I get that. Boom. I get it. I get it. But I think it's stupid at the same time because you don't know who, who paying that car. No, you don't know where I got this. You don't okay. know none of that. And it seems like for me, you would want to attach your wagon to somebody that can pull you up instead of somebody that's going to keep you on your same level because no. at the end of the day, you're trying to build an empire with somebody or you're trying to build a mm -mm. family, a life with somebody. So why would you want to lessen the person? And you know, like I don't, I don't, it don't, no. I don't Be get it. Because yeah, because of the mind thing, I males have a pride thing. If the woman is quote unquote, they What's look that at quote, it. With, pride comes before what? What is it? I don't, I don't know. know. Shit, it's we something. Go to pride. church or something oh that God. Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear that scripture. They, they wasn't teaching that on Easter. Mm -mm, they didn't teach that. <laughs> um, it's a pride thing as if if the woman is doing those things or can, it's like she's carrying a load. And men typically can't bear that. Like if they was to be with their friends because so many people care about what other people think. And that's the problem with Man. society. Now you said you the guy was like, you know, you have this and you have that. And um, you think that is stupid. Now, a lot of y'all women, even though I know this is true, you may say or you may agree that is stupid. But worrying about if it's stupid, that's a waste of time because you ain't going to change it. Oh, I know that. You should focus on using different tactics to get the guy to approach you like. Go buy you a pinto. Like, like bumping into him more than once at the grocery store. Now, for an example, if you're in the grocery store and you give him the eye, right? And y'all in the milk aisle or whatever. Now, you give him the eye, he didn't look. Now, if you bump into him two more times prior going to the cash register, he don't think he's more than him. likely he may go on and build up the confidence to talk to you. So, it's like if you at um, the mall or you work at the mall somewhere and you give the guy the eye, you have to go a little bit beyond giving the eye. You might have to go help him pick out something or help him try on something. Help him try it on. Whatever. <laughs> you gotta be, you gotta be creative <laughs> to get him to actually bite into you being interested in. Cause I'm not, I don't think y'all going to be like, look guy, I want to date you. Is that dude wearing Ugg boots? No, nah, get them in up. Oh, that, that is a dude. That is some dude wearing Ugg boots. Well, that may be gay. Gotta be. He wearing Ugg boots. Well, shit, as long as they happy. Okay, you yeah. know, And they warm, because it's cold. It's cold as fuck. But that's what I'm saying. I don't like it, but it's true. Like, and I just don't think it's going to change because of technology and phones. If you see a girl, you can find them online and you can... Talk to him online and it's easier, you know. Hey, I like you, so and she may meeting, not just respond. So, like meeting him online, you can't see the tangible, so you feel more comfortable. Is no, that, no, is no, that no, what no, you're no. That, no. No, that's a good question. Okay. Online is easier because when I say what I have to say, mm -hmm. 
99% of the time you ain't gonna diss me. You're not gonna respond. So, hey, I think you're cute. I like this. You like to run or you play soccer or whatever. And if the girl is not interested, y'all just don't respond. Y'all don't say. Like in public, the girl for like y'all usually ain't gonna diss the guy. You ain't gonna be like, get the fuck out of my face. I don't you know. I got a story about that. Well, in the club. It, yes, the club. You know, I'm talking about just any random place. If a guy come up to you nice and respectable, you you ain't gonna diss him. You may just be like, I'm not interested. Regardless, I got a boyfriend. <laughs> or you may lie. Regardless, the guy don't want to feel that rejection, regardless of what it is. Even if it's like, you know, I, I'm seeing somebody, I'm not interested, thank you. You can have a friend. Right, you know, <laughs> they trying. <laughs> but online, typically girls that don't respond, you know, so they get messages all the time. And if they're not interested, they just don't respond. So it's no harm, no foul. I can't lose online. Okay. And the thing online, it's the number of games anyway. So it's like if you don't want them Reach apps or out something. Reach out to like 20. Then right. One of them right. Ahead. One of them lonely as fuck. And one of them will eventually say, <laughs> thank you. Like, I do love well, soccer. She, she lonely as fuck. Like, finally, I got hit up. Yes. Damn. Would you like to do coffee or some shit? Oh, coffee. Okay. Oh, whatever, you know. No, People, I like coffee. Think it's different. It's not dinner and a movie. It's different. Coffee. Let's go to Starbucks. But like I said, the reason I bring up coffee, and this is another point that I make, is because it's all a game that's being played from the jump. Okay. Even if you online, especially, you say, let's do coffee. Of course, you got to meet in a public place. Let's, you know, make sure this motherfucker ain't crazy. Mm -hmm. Then after that, to establish the date, and that's still in public. Mm -hmm. the pen, and it's, it's all selling. Oh, what do you like to do? Oh, I like to do this. Oh, how long have you been color? doing this? I seen on your profile that you had this bullshit, <laughs> and you... Like it? Yes, I love it. You know, and it's it's all it's all the same. But why well, got me bullshitting? I'm just what I'm saying is this, women. The, my point. Yeah, so we won't be talking about this forever, and you can go apply some of this shit and use it. If you make good money, if you passionate, if you got drive, I say keep it. Continue to do all that shit mm -hmm. because of how men are structured, and you know. Their communication when it comes to approaching women, you have to think differently when it comes to attracting a man. Like you may say, I want to I want to look good. I want to take care of myself. That's great. You know, stay in shape, take care of yourself. But because of men and not having that boldness, they're not just approaching women like they should when it comes to being interested in them. So it does just as much harm as it does good so like i like i like we were saying last night this is a great point and i know y'all might use this because y'all walking and y'all go out in packs right y'all go out together oh, yeah, in groups yeah, yeah, yeah alex she go out with her home girl and they out there having a good time right and let's say a guy look at her like she's attractive want to talk to her more than likely he would not talk to her now first of all if she have the tangibles first off if she come in her a nice car and she he got didn't see none of that. So he didn't see none okay. of that. Let's just say he oh, didn't yeah. see that. Let's say okay. he skipped all the tangibles. He just saw me. He don't see none of that. Yeah. He just see her in the club. But she's with her homegirls. One to two or three other girls, right? The chances of her getting approached by him is less likely because she's with other women. And he don't want to get rejected. And he don't want to get rejected in front of Ashley, Alex friends. So... Ashley is my friend, by the way. Yeah, that's one of our <laughs> friends. Yeah. So if she's with other girls, her chances of being approached is even more or less likely to happen because she's with other people. Now, so this is what we said. Last we night. We said, yeah, last okay. night we said that we can go to the club together, but maybe like have your friend on the other side of the bar and you on this side of the bar. So you right. look like you by yourself, but you're really not by yourself. Right. And then you got your girl there. To kind of like check up on the dude, you know, or, you know, you can text like, okay, come save me or something, you know, That's that way smart. you look like you by yourself, but you really not. Your girls kind of like spread out around the club. See that. And that so is, is that the game you got to play. Exactly. Yes. Oh yes. Yeah. And watch it works. That's the point that I'm making okay, regarding. So cut off Cause yeah, my phone was full. So yeah, I had to delete some shit. But anyway. Drive your point home. Yeah, I'm driving my point. Um, 
regarding the the club thing. Mm -hmm. Like being by yourself, the chance of you being approached is a whole lot more. Okay. Now that's a great example of not dumbing down. Like the tangibles, I'm not saying, you know, fucking stop working your great job or go get a hoopty. What I'm saying is use the club as an example to strategize differently when it comes to being approached by men. So if you go out with your girls, all y'all hang by your goddamn self <laughs> and you will get a lot more guys approaching you and you know, you'll win long term. Okay. Exactly. Now, that same strategy with the club, you got to apply that at the grocery store, the gas station, special events. Because when y'all go to events, y'all go with other people. All that. Now, this is how, this is it's bad, but this is what it's going to have to come through. When you go into an event or whatever with your girls, you're going to have to start thinking about this shit prior to going. Like, it's not just going out with the girls now. Like, hey, let's, let's, just go, let's just go out. No, 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 no. It ain't just going out. All right. Now that y'all going out, y'all going to have to say shit like, all right, how we going to set this up? Like, how how we going to be tonight? Who, what what side you want to work? <laughs> what? This is what's up. <laughs> so, like, we process Right. Food. That's how it's going to be. have to be. Like, what side of the club or, you know, the bar you want to sit at, right? For an example, you go to a bar, it's three of y'all girls there. If y'all sat on three different sides of the bar, I would come in I would assume that she's sitting alone. Then after time passes, she'd be like, well, damn, if she waiting on somebody, they ain't coming or mm -hmm. she must really be here by herself. That will encourage the guy to bring his ass over there and, and, and talk to you, so may offer you a drink or some shit like that. So that was my point. I know y'all got other shit to do. Y'all might want to taste test this if you got some group of friends. Please comment because I want to hear about all the shit. If you got a homegirl or two, I want y'all motherfuckers to go out this weekend and test it. Don't sit together and watch how many more guys approach you and shit like that. If you go to the grocery store, Bump into his ass a couple times before he gets to the car. Ram his ass with the cart. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That'll work. Like, really hit his ass with your cart and, like, drop some shit. Like, oh, fuck. You gotta have some good groceries in there so he know you can cook. Right, right, right. Have some cabbage greens and some pork chops in that right. cart. Oh, rumble. see, this is the strategy shit. Now, now y'all need to really apply this shit if I'm putting it out there. This is like wisdom, right? <laughs> Hold on. Like, not now it's not dumbing down it's using a different strategy like bumping into him a few times before you get to the cash register sitting on different parts of the um the bar and shit like that that's strategizing now check this it, it, it can go even deeper okay. regarding groceries check this out this is how you got to do this shit i know it's bad but it's true don't now, have no ramen noodles now check car. this out you like me i'm single right i don't i don't do a lot of cooking so Eat good, good breakfast though, ladies. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm a fucking beast when it comes to breakfast. Like, mm -hmm. cause I think like after a long night, you need a good breakfast. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, to my point. So that's another conversation. Right. <laughs> um, me one day I was in the grocery store and it was a guy though. It wasn't a woman, but a guy was like. Man, I think he pointed out he knew I was single or some shit because I don't buy shit I have to cook. I don't really cook. Now, check this out. The guy that you may be interested in, you got some good shit in your basket, right? That you cook like you about to go home and throw down. And this nigga got Gatorade and like microwavable dinners and shit. Bang it to his shit. <laughs> Not only that, that's really going to get his attention and, you know, y'all to talk after that. He will see the value of your buggy, of the shit in your basket, and he'll be like, "Like, so you going? You about to go home and cook?" Oh, and Warren said you gotta go to Walmart on Sundays because he said that's when the women. Oh, that's 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 just like a out like the outfit. You know, motherfuckers dress up for church, and when they leave church, they just want to go do some shit, so they go to grocery stores. 
So he said that guys go to Walmart on Sundays because that's women and women be in there. So knowing that guys go to Walmart on Sunday, Sunday should be our day to go to Walmart and bump into the man with our boogie and we about to cook Sunday dinner. Yeah, that is yeah, that is true. I'm trying but to, I, I'm trying to get the game. Like I am trying I want y'all to add, answer like what day regarding grocery store. Cause I like to go to the grocery store on the weekend. Mm -hmm. oh, I like to, Sundays. I actually like to go on Sundays. See, early Ladies, no. He be in Walmart. I like to go early Sundays because it's not as busy. Okay. Like I rather go where all the motherfuckers in church. So and, you ain't going to church. No. <laughs> no. It ain't Easter. <laughs> It ain't Easter, y'all. He ain't going to church. Like, I'm thinking, motherfuckers gonna get out of church around 10, 11, 12. That's when they start going. Let me get in and out of the store before everybody start coming back from church. Okay. So, if you go males, like all the fellas out there. When okay, y'all. So, since my phone key messed up, we gonna just, you know, wrap this thing up. We'll do like a part two or I think I want to do like a panel discussion for like guys and stuff and we can ask some questions so if you have questions that you want a male's perspective on just leave a comment let me know and yeah we're gonna get that video coming to you so yeah anything else to say no just um please just tell me you agree with me and you don't gotta say shit else like just, just greg, i agree greg i agree with you greg Make you him right feel good, or something y'all make him feel good <clears throat> whatever it is because i i just want to know if this helping people and please don't forget women Get your girls and y'all go try them st some strategies like sit on different parts and shit and bump into his ass at the with um, your cart with your car and shit like that. Like that's not dumbing down. That's okay. not downgrading yourself. That's using different strategies to acquire Get attract bae. the man. Like people do it all the time. They do it in business and and, and companies and you know different shit. Women gotta do it too. So yeah, you know if y'all do that, please let me know because I would. I'll really start preaching that shit if it works. It, it does work. You're going to write a book. Another book. I, I will. I will. You already got what? One, two? I only got one. Yeah, but I've been one, I've been so. procrastinating on writing no, books. No, we're not going to do that. On the male and female mm -hmm. thing. Do it. 2018, he coming out with a book. Or he going to start working on it. Okay? So, yeah. Um, That's all, all right. we got to say. All right, man. So. Peace.